Hey there YouTube, it's Lunar Eclipse here, and this is my first battle in a long time. I stepped away from Pokemon for a short while when the new maps for Call of Duty came out, and that's my bad. But this is a battle that's found that was really, really close. Came down to the last move. It was just a fun battle. Um, I know that he's going to set up the rocks or spikes first turn here, so I'm going to go for dynamic punch just to get the confusion hacks. Um, I know that the brave bird is coming, so I need to switch out to something that resists. So I go to my scarf Titar. So his name's Scared. He's he's a buddy. Scarf Titar is pretty cool. You don't see him as much, especially this gen. Tyranitar is so versatile. They got scarf sets, they got Tyranoboas, they got Mixtars, they got everything. The obvious Brave Bird comes in. I decide to hit with a Stone Edge because that's neutral. Even the, It's neutral stab, but it misses, which kind of sucks. The Whirlwind comes out. I'm kind of mad at this point. Um, my Desmuma accidentally paused itself, So and then we go. I It brings me into my Gyarados, which gets maimed by that which really gets maimed by that stealth rocks and then sandstorm on top of that brings me down at least one third in my first turn in which pretty much sucks i go for the stone edge non-stab unboosted it's not going to do that much i probably shouldn't have done that but whatever he goes for the roost healing off all the damage that i had given him plus some uh... which really really blows i know that he's going to either attack me or whirlwind me here so i I just pretty much go for the attack, knowing that there's nothing I can help with switching out. You can get stuck in those Skarmory traps. This Skarmory was probably the hardest thing for me to take out this whole battle, which kind of sucked, but whatever. This is the Pokemon of his that lasted the longest, I would suppose. Um, this gave me the biggest issue. I knew that he was going to go for the super effective attack there. He wouldn't bother with the whirl. I mean, he wouldn't bother with the whirlwind. So I switch in Hihi Daruma on the easy, predictable attack. I'm pretty sure I would speed him. This is a choice banded Hihi Daruma, or Darmanitan. Um, pretty much just took the idea off of Shofu. Pretty much as easy as I can say. I mean, it's not my idea, it's someone else's. Thanks, Shofu. If you watch these, thanks. Brings me down to, like, no HP, though, after that, which kind of sucks. Um, I know his Infernape's Scarfed, and... Which... His Infernape was his hard hitter this whole battle. It pretty much just came in and picked off everything that just died. Kind of sucked. Whatever. I go into Specs Champ, which the name actually is a reference to one time I battled Captain Zeph, and he uses Specs Machamp with um, Focus Blast, which is pretty hilarious. I do a pretty bad misclick right here, where I accidentally use Rest instead of using Dynamic Punch to finish off this Bronzong. So it kind of sucks here, and Greg's talking to me on Skype right now, and I'm narrating a battle. Um, he goes for the explosion while I'm asleep, which kind of sucks. I'm pretty mad that I went and um, pretty mad that I went and rested here, but it brings me down pretty low. If I had dynamic punched, I wouldn't have lost any HP whatsoever. So whatever, this Machamp kind of sacrificial lamb there. I feel that if he stayed alive, if he could have made a big difference. His Karudio goes for the Surf, takes me out like nothing. I know that I can handle this thing with Gyarados, seeing as I resist both its stab. Um, the only thing I didn't see coming here was the Hidden Power. So I was a little afraid, but I feel that this Hidden Power is either Ice or Grass, seeing as it was neutral, and it didn't hit that hard. I noticed the, um, I noticed the Life Orb, and I know that I will live one more Hidden Power. Um, so I can still... Well... No, blah, 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 blah. I predicted the switch, so I went for the Dragon Dance. I didn't see the Hidden Power coming, actually. I Dragon Dance, so I'm faster next turn. I Earthquake for the neutral damage, even though it's non-stab. I was hoping that it would take it out, but it doesn't. But that's all right. Um, pretty sure after li li Life Orb, it's a double down, so we pretty much both switch into whatever we feel should come in. I go into my Scarf Tar as he goes into his Scarfed um, Infernape. He goes for the U-turn, which is super effective. I note how much damage I stay in with compared to how much damage gets done to me whenever I come in from Stealth Rock. Um, I go for the Stone Edge here to hit this Mayoletta. I'm not sure if this crit mattered. I'm not, I don't think it does because I'm pretty sure Mayoletta is not very physically defensive. Um, I know that when his Infernape comes in, I have to switch out, because I will live, um, I will live switching in one more time, 
so that'll be cool. I, I predict the U-turn. Obvious U-turn is obvious. Um, I go into my Gengar, which is named Fuck You. Um, another Kusu I was a little afraid of because I didn't know if I would be able to take it out in one straight Shadow Ball. So I kind of abused um, the Sandstorm damage that was coming in, which, I don't know, it's kind of like Life Orb Stall, but Sandstorm Stall instead. I'm creative, I guess. Um, I just need I just need to know that Sandstorm will take him down to a certain amount where I can be guaranteed the OHKO. Um, this could be seen as a little bit of stupid play because essentially I did sacrifice this Gengar to take out this Anonokusu, but otherwise I had nothing to take the attacks. So that's my reasoning behind it. It might be wrong, but whatever. Um, now it's another double down, which there was quite a few this battle. Uh, I go back into Scared, which is my Titar. He goes into his Infernape. I need to make sure I need I need him to choose the fighting move here, and he doesn't. He goes for the Flare Blitz to kill my 4 HP Tyranitar because I'm pretty sure he knows my last mon is my Jirachi. Right here, I'm kicking myself and I'm kicking myself that I didn't go into Jirachi earlier. But I know that he doesn't take much from Stealth Rocks, and this Flare Blitz, even though I'm max HP, zero defense, will still do a crap ton. I managed to live with 11 HP, which is just completely unheard of. I did a calc, and a calc from a Jolly Infernape with 252 attack, 252 speed, does 83 to 98%, and I just barely lived that and finish off with the psych Psychic. This battle was crazy, it was awesome, and it was probably one of the most fun battles I've had. Look up this guy, Inferno TFH, he's a cool guy.